This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you go and subscribe uh, to this channel on YouTube. Click the bell to always be notified. And in case YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new, brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. So last week, we talked about a possible new and upcoming particle discovery at CERN. And physicists do not yet know if it is a true discovery or if it's just statistical background noise in the data. That discovery is still up in the air, but while we wait on that, we can talk about recent news concerning a confirmed discovery at CERN. Two new discoveries, in fact, and possibly a third. These newly discovered particles are named, and I'm not kidding, <laughs> Sigma B, open parenthesis, uh, 6097, close parenthesis, plus, and Sigma B, open parenthesis, 6097, close parenthesis, minus. Physicists certainly have a, uh, a, a way with naming particles, but uh, the, these both are predicted by the quark model and belong to the same family of particles as the protons that the Large Hadron Collider accelerates and collides. These particles are in the family of baryons, which are made up of three quarks. And if you have my book, Unraveling the Multiverse, you will already know that. But the type of quarks that they contain are different this time around. Usually protons contain two up quarks and one down quark, but the new particles that were just discovered are bottom baryons composed of one bottom quark and two up quarks, or one bottom quark and two down quarks, respectively. Now, the LHCB researchers found these particles using the classic technique we discussed last week of looking for an excess of events or a bump uh, over a smooth background of events in data from particle collisions. But in this case, they looked for such bumps in the mass distribution of a two-particle system consisting of a neutral baryon called alpha B0 and a charged quark-antiquark -quark, uh, particle called the pi meson. Uh, physicists working with the new discovery said they found two bumps corresponding to the particles with the whopping uh, significances of 12.7 and 12.6 standard deviations, uh, respectively. And uh, five standard deviations is usually the threshold to claim the discovery of a new particle. So this is, this is not statistical. This is absolutely a new discovery. They also said that the, the, um, the 6097 in the names refers to the approximate masses of the new particles in mega electron volts, which is about six times more massive uh, than the proton. Now, there's also a third particle that's a possible candidate for a discovery, one made not of the usual two or three quarks, but of four quarks, strictly speaking, two, two quarks and two antiquarks, uh, two of which are heavy charm quarks. They are calling it ZC negative, open parenthesis, 4100, close parenthesis. <laughs> um, now, such exotic, such exotic, Mason, sometimes described as, uh, described as tetraquarks, as well as five-quark particles called pentaquarks, have long been predicted to exist. A couple of years ago, they discovered uh, pentaquark. But the scientist at the LHCB released a statement saying, quote, searching for structures in the decays of heavier B mesons, we detected evidence for ZC minus 4100 with a significance of more than three standard deviations, short of the threshold for discovery, future studies with more data may be able to boost or disprove this evidence, uh, end quote. So the new results are described in two papers posted online at rxiv.org and submitted for publication to the European Physical Journal uh, and the Physical Review Letter. So you can check that out if you want to. Now, what do you think about these two new particles and possibly uh, a third new particle? Uh, with discovering new types of 
particles fairly consistently, uh, how do you think this will change the landscape of physics and the entire world as we know it? And most importantly, what do you think of the ridiculous names attached to these new particles? I mean, I wonder what, what these physicists name their kids. Uh, now, if you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you uh, subscribe, click the bell to always be notified, and in case YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. Thank you all so much for watching. We will stay on the story as it develops, and until next time, take care and God bless. We've been told that America is a Christian country from its origin, one nation under God. We've been taught that our government is for the people, by the people. But what if it's all been just a grand deception? What if the God, worshipped in secret by government leaders in our nation's capital, is in fact our enemy? And many of our leaders have been venerating him secretly through arcane rituals, setting the scene for the incarnation of this ancient entity. They used the powerful energy of ninth degree sex magic through which the goddess Babylon herself might appear in human form. What if everything we thought we knew about this great nation was designed to bring about the greatest conspiracy of all time? A conspiracy for the souls of humanity. What if I told you that America was founded by the darkest elite secret societies and that there are still powerful remnants controlling hands in high positions carrying this torch? Dr. Thomas Horn, William Ramsey, Russ Dizdar. It's like God ripped open Hell's Kitchen and said, hey, here's some of the sequence of satanic evolution. Colonel Robert McGinnis, West Fall. Carl Teichrib, Justin Fall. It is the ritual that would ignite the resurrection of the Antichrist. Belly of the Beast. The holidays are rapidly approaching, and now's your chance to save big on the largest TV giveaway of the year. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. In the brand new documentary, Belly of the Beast, you'll discover for the first time why a Bible is bound in a magic square inside the testes of the Washington Monument. Where and why a buried ancient magical obelisk awaits underground nearby. Where the entrance to a secret crypt exists connected to American Lucifer worship from within the deep state. And for the first time ever, the U.S. government-owned location where the Antichrist will be resurrected on a American soil. When you order Belly of the Beast from Skywatch TV, you'll also receive Lady Queensbro's celebrated original 1933 occult theocracy two-volume collection beautifully republished by Defender Publishing. These books are classic exposés on the secret societies, from witches to Knights Templar, Freemasons to Rosicrucians, Druids to the Illuminati, Masonic and Pagan symbols, Christian science, the Order of the Jesuits, and so so much more. Dr. Thomas Horn says no serious researcher's library is complete without this massive two-volume collection. These two books alone hold a retail value of $80. Yours now free when you purchase the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway. But we're just getting started. You'll also receive a gargantuan supply of brand new, super quality overstock gift books, DVDs, audio sets, survival and organic living books, and more to add to your library or to give away as gifts this holiday season. Sold separately, this grand giveaway holds a retail value of over $350. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. So don't delay. This avalanche of holiday gifts is perfect for the serious researcher in your life, but is only available while supplies last. So take advantage of this, the largest Skywatch TV giveaway of 2018, while you can when you order the Belly of the Beast Grand Giveaway, now at the Skywatch TV store. Order online or call 1-844-750-4985.